Hi, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani, and today's talk is on why am I feeling tired? Why am I feeling, feeling fatigued? Even though I just switched my diet from this crappy diet to a really healthy diet. So you've made this great diet transition. Why are you feeling the way you can? So essentially, let's go over the energy systems in the body. So the first one here is known as glycolysis. So this is a process the body uses to break down glucose. So you have lysis, which means cut or break down, and then you have gluco or glyco, which means glucose or sugar. So we only can store about 75 grams of blood sugar in the bloodstream. And the rest, about 280 grams, is actually going to be stored in the liver. 280. So you can see that the majority of the blood sugar is actually in the liver, and only small amounts are actually in the bloodstream. So if you're running your pathways, if you're running your metabolic pathways, relying on sugar for fuel, what's going to happen is your sugar is going to ebb and flow up and down. You're going to go hyperglycemic to hypoglycemic to hyper to hypo. And simply, our blood sugar tends to follow our mood, or our mood tends to follow our blood sugar. So we feel good up here, maybe anxious, maybe tired but wired, and then we feel like crap down here. So when we're running off sugar for fuel primarily outside of exercise, we're going to have one, we're going to be relying on limited amounts of fuel because we only have so much in our bloodstream and only so much in our liver. So what happens in that first one to two weeks of dieting, first one to two weeks, is we go through a process known as keto adaptation. So what's starting to happen is we're starting to rely more on fat for fuel versus sugar. So we have fat down here and you can see we're starting to rely more on that and this is a little seesaw we have down here and we start having glucose up here. So as you can see what's happening is we're relying more upon fat. So the first couple of weeks it takes some time because the body is used to this instantaneous energy going up and down and all around. So now it's using fat, which is a more steady state of energy. So the analogy I always say, imagine we have a fire here. Okay, this is our fire. Now if we were to throw paper in that fire, it would burn up pretty fast. And even faster if we threw gasoline. So now what would happen if we threw logs in that fire? So if we put some good healthy logs in there, the logs are essentially analogous to protein or to high quality fat. That fire is going to burn longer and brighter. It's not going to have that pop, right? So that pop that you get from the, throwing the paper in the fire or throwing the gasoline in the fire, that's very addicting. That's why we like to run our energy systems off of glucose. But when we throw the logs in the fire, we get a steady burn. So think of your metabolism as like a fire, right? We want to throw good logs in there good protein and fat, and it does take a couple of weeks to make that shift so we start burning more fat for fuel and less glucose. And again, this happens over the first one to two weeks. Um, the longer you stay with it, the easier it becomes. There are certain amino acids you can use and certain nutrients you can use to help ease the transition so you're not in such agony craving uh, sugar all the time. Well, this is Dr. Justin here. I hope you enjoyed today's talk. And Any questions, feel free to write to me below. Thanks. Have a great day.